Okay, so now we're in a position to talk about trust region methods. And uh, let's just um, start with the, the case in Rn, right? <clears throat> so the basic idea behind a trust region method um, is that there is a subproblem um, where you try to find a minimizer of a quadratic model, um, but you're constrained to only search for some ball around uh, the current point you're in, okay? Um, and, and the reason why um, you know, we refer to such methods as trust region methods is because more or less it's like we're saying that um, based on what we've observed, it's like about the um, ability of the quadratic model to actually predict what the actual function value will be, right? We either trust the quadratic model uh, by uh, increasing the size of this ball, or we distrust the model uh, by uh, either rejecting it's like the uh, the update or uh, end or uh, reducing the size of this ball. Okay. So so let me sort of say this a little bit more precisely. So the basic sort of trust region method in Rn. <coughs> sort of involves uh, sort of adding to the current uh, iterate x in Rn, right, an update vector. <coughs> Eta in Rn. Okay, that satisfies, that solves uh, the trust region subproblem. Okay, which is that you want this to be the arc minimizer. Okay of some function, which is this quadratic model, f of x plus df of x plus uh, one half. But <coughs> we have a constraint, right, that uh, this vector is uh, in some ball, well actually it's, it's in a ball of radius delta, about the origin, okay? All right, so um, where H is a symmetric matrix, and uh, delta is the trust region radius. So one possibility, obviously, for H is, is the actual Hessian. So one possibility. It's the Hessian. Hij is di dj of H, sorry, of F. And then uh, we get superlinear convergence if H is sufficiently close uh, to the Hessian. So, so this thing here is called the inner approximation or the inner iteration. Oh, I'm 
more precisely, it's like the, the method used to compute this arc minimizer is called the inner iteration. to approximate the solution of the trust region subproblem. is the inner iteration. <coughs> And then once you uh, obtain it's like an approximation of this, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, essentially test the quality it's like of the um, of the quadratic model, okay? Um, by essentially comparing um, what you expect the function value uh, to be um, at the new point uh, based on quadratic model versus what the actual function value is, okay? So. Um, so we sort of test the quality of the model M, right? So this is what I call uh, <coughs> M, right? By computing uh, this quotient row. Right, which is the difference between f, well, essentially the um, decrease going from f of x to f of x plus eta, and comparing it, that's like to what you would expect uh, from the model, m of zero versus m of eta. Okay, so essentially, this is the actual decrease. divided by the predicted decrease. Okay, so the actual decrease in F predicted decrease from the model M. Okay, and then depending on the value of this, you can do several things. You can uh, reject the actual step um, and decrease, it's like the trust radius Okay, or you could accept the step but decrease the trust radius, or you could um, accept the step and increase the trust radius, or some variant thereof. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind trust region methods uh, in Rn. It's like, and then the next thing we'll do is to talk about how we'll generalize this uh, to Riemannian manifolds. Okay, so I'll stop here for now.